during these days of trial and testing brought on by the public health crisis of the coronavirus, on this third Sunday of Lent, we have Jesus promising us the gift of the Holy Spirit to be with us. In this gospel reading, a Samaritan woman came to the well to draw water, and there she meets Jesus. And Jesus speaks to her about the Holy Spirit, but he is speaking to her about the Spirit in veiled language. He says, everyone who drinks the water from this well will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I shall give will never thirst. The water I shall give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Veiled language. It might help to put into clear English exactly what Jesus is saying here. Everyone who drinks of the things of this world will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks of the Holy Spirit I shall give will never thirst. The Holy Spirit I shall give will become in you a fountain of eternal life. Now who wouldn't want a fountain of eternal life flowing in one's soul? But this is what Jesus promises and this is what we receive, a fountain of eternal life, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Or, speaking to the Samaritan woman, a spring of living water swelling up to eternal life. The flowing fountain of living grace, the divine life of the Holy Spirit that began at our baptism, who is always renewing us, refreshing us, strengthening us, inspiring us in our journey to follow Jesus. During these days, we may be anxious. We may be concerned for our own well-being and for the well-being of others. Definitely, our normal routines are disrupted. Now is the time to show forth the fruits of the Holy Spirit of which Jesus speaks in this gospel today, those fruits of the Holy Spirit which must be evident and demonstrated in our lives these days. To be charitable toward others. Everyone is anxious. Everyone's routine is disrupted. Everyone is out of sorts to keep the joy of Christ in our hearts, to bring peace into all situations, to be patient, kind, and gentle in our dealings with others, control, to demonstrate in our actions the goodness of God who dwells within to be faithful to our blessed Lord. These are the gifts of the Holy Spirit that we should be practicing all the time, and especially during these challenging, trying days. The Holy Spirit is in us to transform us and make us more like Jesus. The Holy Spirit is that living fountain of eternal life that is within us to refresh us, and to refresh those who are around us if we are living the life of the Holy Spirit and demonstrating those fruits of the Spirit in our life. Charity, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control, goodness, and faithfulness. For those who are not able to get to Mass, prayer of spiritual communion to receive the Holy Eucharist is most appropriate. I wish, my Lord, to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion 
with which your most holy mother received you with the spirit and fervor of the saints. May the Holy Spirit, whom we honor most beautifully in the scripture reading today, Jesus' revelation of his presence, may that Holy Spirit keep us close to our blessed Lord Jesus during these days. <laughs> 